Welcome to the Frost DK Battle for Azeroth Alpha changes and reworks. Are we going through the single target and then the AOE talents? I think will be, be best for PVE. Uh, the main changes for Frost DK is that a few of their OP traits they had in their weapon have been changed into talents. So for the first, for the first talent tree, I've gone with icy talons because the rest are a bit. Like I don't, I don't really like waiting for my frost strike to deal 60% in additional damage, where I can just get my attack speed up to like 15%. Yeah, like I'll have it up all the time, so I'll basically have 15% increased attack speed, which will just be better for like all my DPS generally. And I don't really, you don't really need, like you're not really affected by runic power on the alpha at least. So I always seem to have enough to cast a spell of a howling blast or an obliterate. Then for your Second um, talent tree for single target, you just want murderous efficiency because obviously killing machine is going to be your main DPS output. If you're getting, if you're that's critting high, fifty percent to gain a rune back, which means you can cast either another obliterate or maybe a howling blast to keep up frost fever. The next one's really up to you. I just take um, winter is coming because. Howling Blast, Remorseless Winter stuns and does damage. Um, for your next one, it's just defensive, defensives again. I took in a Inexorable Assault just because you're going to be getting damage, whereas this one, in the Anti Magic Shield, is almost 35% more damage. Uh, it's just not that efficient. And Permafrost, I, I don't really like it, but whereas in Inexorable Assault, if you're not attacking a boss and you can just have this really big auto attack saved up so for your next um, talent tree this is mainly about it's mainly about just AOE on all of these ones to be honest you can take any of them for AOE but I just take Gathering Storm just because Remorseless Winter is already, um, already upgraded by um, Winter is Coming so you just use that now the last talent tree Breath of Syndrago so that was obviously a golden trait on the Frost DK and out on uh, in Legion, but now they've bring it into a talent tree, which is the bottom one. Uh, you can get Hungering Rune Weapon again, but I just literally take Obliteration. It ties in quite well with all your other CDs, so yeah. But yeah, it's it's all good. So yeah, so Ice Cap instead of I don't think I forgot to do this. So I take Ice Cap because Frost Strikes and Obliterate. Reduce the remaining cooldown of Pillar of Frost, which just means I get Pillar of Frost up, which is going to be the main, like, your DPS spell you're going to be using a lot. You're going to have Obliterate and Empower Rune Weapon up, but you, uh, for, for the start of a pull, you just want to use Pillar of Frost and a few of your cooldowns and then use Obliterate, but I'll show you. The main thing you want to do is, so if you start off the fight, you want to start with Howling Blast, so that as soon as you've started, you've got Frost Fever on the target, and just start doing... Prioritize hitting your obliterates and then doing your howling blasts. Howling blast just makes sure frost fever stays up, and yeah, make sure you use howling blast a remorseless winter a lot as soon as it's up, like now, so that you're just you're just getting your talent being used. And now you can use your pillar of frost, so you've got increased strength. And then you can just start off with um, using obliteration, and you can just obliterate the shit out of the of, of the ad. Just make sure you're using. Um, Make sure you're using your runic power with with frost strike and just using the blit rates. But just make sure you don't ever get to 100 runic power and you're just spamming the frost strike. Use more of this winter because it's up. You can now while um, on the, your next pillar of frost that you've got up after you've used a blit rate. That's when you can use your empower rune weapon just so you can get a lot of DPS off. But you mainly want to be maximizing the amount you're using frost strike because you don't want you don't want to overlap on uh, runic power because it's just really bad. But yeah, so you've got another defensive, which is your Icebound Fortitude, but most people know that, and your AMS. So now I've, I've got up my next Pillar of Frost. So I use my Pillar of Frost and my Empower Rune Weapon, and just make sure I'm obliterating. Because if I get that crit, it's going to reduce the time on, um, on a Pillar of Frost. But it's literally like the same as Legion, but just with a few changes to how you play the spec and how you dump your Runic Power. But this is... I think this is the best single target for at the moment. But now I'll go into the AoE, which is a bit more fun, whereas Frosty K, the Legion's a bit... It's a bit the same as Legion, but 
the AOE has been changed rather, rather a bit. So, so, and okay. So you want to use, I think frost strikes. I think frost strike is good for this next bit. So just keep, just keep icy talons for to start with. But um, for your next set, you want to take Freeze and Frog. Freeze and Fog. Because Howling Blast and Frost Fever deal 20% increased damage. And of course, Howling Blast hits more than one target. So use Howling Blast and you'll get these two with Frost Fever. And obviously with them, increased damage is just really good for you. Um, so Ice Cap, you don't want to be taking that. Because you're not really going to be using Obliterate. You're only going to be using it when you get Killing Machine procs. You're just going to mainly be using Howling Blast to hit all the targets. So... Um, uh, you want to do Avalanche so that you just get huge DPS to all um, nearby enemies. Um, next one, Winter is coming is the same as well because obviously you're going to do big damage with Morseless. You're going to be using this a lot because it does damage to loads of targets and Stunning Guns is just really good. So the next one is just the same really. I just take an Inexorable Assault because I'm going to be... When I'm not attacking something in combat on a boss fight, if you have to move, I'll be charging up a next auto attack which is going to hit hard. For your next set, you really just want Frost Scythe because it does so much damage and you can replace this with Obliterate and just be using this instead of Obliterate because it, it critical strikes the same as a... like it, it, it absorbs your killing machine procs so you can make sure you use that. So if you just take that... oh my term expired. Take Frost Scythe and just put it on your bar somewhere. Put it there. And then, obviously, for the last one, you know what it is. Breath of Syndragosa. It's just really good. So you want to just get to full runic power using, like, Frost Scythe, Pillar of Frost, yada, yada, yada. So let's just see. I'll show you the... So we start off with just the Frost Scythe. So that's going to hit more than one target. And just make sure you're using your Howling Blasts. Howling Blast, Howling Blast, because that's going to hit more than one target. And then save your runic power, and then dump your runic power into into your Breath of Syndragosa. So then you can use all of your cooldowns with Breath of Syndragosa. Breath of Syndragosa is good because you can use it on a pack, and then it will be up for the next pack. It's not like, um, it doesn't really wear you down where you can use it, and then you got to wait. You can just keep it up. So you see, Frost Scythe gained a Killing Machine proc, so you can just make sure you're using that and just using Frost Scythe to hit all the targets. And just dump in your uh, Runic Power on Frost Strike and using your Killing Machine procs on. So you just want to prior your Frost Scythe, Howling Blasts, make sure Frost Fever stays up, using your Frost Scythes, just hit a lot of them. But yeah, the, the DK AoE is not as strong as it was last time, but it's really, you know, it's quite fun when you get Killing Machine procs and a lot of them. Just make sure all your targets have um, have Frost Fever and you can just smash into them. And just making sure you use more Lotus Winter on cooldown. But yeah, that's it for the Frost DK. All of this is set for change, so a lot of it is not set in stone. And obviously some talents could be buffed, some could be, you know, just made absolutely trash. But yeah, there'll be more guides out to come soon, so make sure you keep up for that like subscribe and see you in the next one